Okay, this video is gonna cover flex direction in CSS Flexbox. If you're not sure what Flexbox is, I made another video of that. You can go check that out. I'll probably link to it in this video here. Uh, but essentially, these are gonna be short, quick tips and of ways to understand these properties of Flexbox to get a better grasp on how to use CSS Flexbox as a whole. Nothing beats practice when making, you know, perfect with this stuff. So the more you use it, the more you're just going to basically let it flow out your fingertips as you write more CSS. So uh, hopefully that's enough to get you to go and build something with it. So go ahead and do that for sure to, to make uh, full use of this stuff. Flex direction establishes the direction on the way the flex items within the parent container are displayed. So that sounds like a mouthful, but essentially says which way these items are gonna essentially align themselves inside this containing display flexed element. So to precursor to all this, of course, is display that element and flex property. And what I'll do is just justify content real quick, space between just to get there. So let's go ahead and talk about direction. Flex direction is a property that by default is on row and Flex direction row essentially says this horizontal line that you see this container in, that's how they're gonna flex. So you could change this completely to be column and you'll notice they go to the vertical alignment just like we saw before. So the default way of displaying this stuff um, in a browser is always gonna be block for div anyway. So it depends on the element, but for a div, the block is always gonna be first. If you display block, all of these properties that you might have for Flexbox prior to or ignored. So the browser just will not render them or not uh, support them essentially. But if you go back to flex and we go back to the direction of row, this is the default, like I said. Now we could do one that's reverse and that allows you to actually change the way the order is, is outputting for the flex elements or items, I should say. So the flex items are the items within the parent container, which is the main flex container. And the way this works is essentially just the same right? way. It's a horizontal orientation, and then the items in it are reverse, hence the key name reverse there. Now you can do the same, of course, with column reverse. So we'll actually start with five. I'll just spell that right, reverse. We'll start with five instead of one in this case. You notice the difference there. Yes, yeah, so this all depends on the axis and the order of which you want to display these. I often find myself just leaving the row as the default. So you'll see yourself basically writing stuff like this. And then maybe on a, a mobile device, you'll do an at media screen, max width uh, 767 pixels. It's like basically when I hit a tablet width, Essentially, I'll do a flex on the container. We'll do a um, flex direction of column. Okay, so I'll open up my dev tools here in Firefox. You'll see this actually is an error at the moment. What's going on? There we go. Now it's displaying column. Uh, based on the mobile width. So if I were to span, shrink this up a little bit, you'll see it shifts back to the flex row. Now it's back to flex column. And that's all automatic thanks to Flexbox. Like I could just do things in certain hard widths, but that, that's not the way Flexbox essentially works. You need to use that space that's at eight up in the, inside the container. And to see the container better, we could say a border uh, one pixel solid, maybe aqua or something. Let's do indigo again, the full color indigo. So there's the actual container. So as you can see, direction by default is row, uh, but you can basically change the ordering of these things based on whatever you need, uh, depending on either whatever width you're at for a mobile device or if you're on a desktop screen. So very powerful feature, one that you can easily change without changing your HTML markup. Uh, so these one-liners are really powerful.
Hello HTML and CSS is my new course on HTML and CSS. It's, this is a more comprehensive guide of learning both languages and using them combined to make realistic websites that are professional and useful. Visit hellohtmlcss.com to learn more.